Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Upcoming is a battle that I did on stream. It's a battle between three British battleships and 12 Russian battleships. Now, the British do get four escorts in the form of heavy cruisers, but I thought that this battle was going to get over very, very soon. Because unlike the usual battles where I get a bit of time to maneuver and set up my fleet, this battle starts at a range of 5,000 meters. So, it is going to be a very, very short-range engagement. And, uh, well, let's see. How long can the British, with their just three battleships, hold off the onslaught of 12 Russian battleships? Let's put it to the test. There we go. Alright, once again, I have three battleships and four heavy cruisers. The year is 1940, starting range is 5,000. The Russian Empire is coming at me with 12 battleships and no escorts whatsoever. Design ship. So, many, many battleships to kill. Not a lot of main guns that I can place down. It's going to be Torpedo Fiesta. Uh, up the displacement, secondary tower. Throw in some funnels. You used to also place funnels on the deck, but they just completely removed that for some reason. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. You can have secondaries in there. You can also have a... Oh. That's refreshing. You can have super imposed barbettes in the middle of your ship. I didn't know this was a thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to fit on the stern too well. But I imagine it might fit on the bow fairly well. Um, fast firing. Yeah, fast firing. At short range, I don't expect to need a lot of firepower. I mean, an 18-inch gun is going to be potentially even over-penetrating the target instead of just actually hitting it and doing damage. Can I place a funnel on the rear or s uh, rear turret? No, I don't think I can. Nothing. So this is the only funnel that I have available. Better make it the biggest one. Unless the game is going to allow me to fit several. And no, I cannot rotate them anymore. They removed that. Maybe I was having a bit too much fun with that, and they saw that. Uh, main guns. How am I going to make the ship work? How much could I fit on a standard superimposed barbette? 15, 16 inch? Not 16. 15? 15. Let's go with another meaty... No, what is it? Standard superimposed? Center line, 15 inch, 15 inch. Right, let's go for full defenses. I'm gonna have to make these things as tanky as I possibly can. Otherwise, I will not be able to survive this encounter. Range to almost none. I think maneuverability is not gonna be very important, except for dodging torpedoes. Bulkheads to many. Crip for armor, maximum barbette thickness, maximum um, anti-torpedo. Anti-flood maximum, citadel maximum. I'm outgunned 4 to 1, pretty much. Uh, generation 1 radar, I don't need the, sh the Gen 2 one. Electro-hydraulic turrets, autoloaders, super heavy shells, high TNT. Torpedo ammo. Um, 22 inch fast. Let's see, what is a fast torpedo launcher get me? 8 kilometer range. Should be in range. And um, they're 62.5 knots. They're very quick. They are very visible. But I'm thinking that because I started 5,000 meter range, the visibility really shouldn't be that much of an issue. I'm very much wondering, however, how long these torpedo launchers are actually going to survive. Because if I'm going to be subjected to just a peppering from Russian battleships which fire secondaries at me for days, then it's going to be over for these torpedo launchers very, very quickly. Mm. 
No, can't very well fit that there. I'm not going to go with any secondaries of my own. I don't think that's going to be very useful. Let's see. Uh, there's a port launcher misplaced somewhere. There. Right, so that's a broadside of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 35 torpedoes I can throw out. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot of torpedoes. Hmm. What else can I make sure that's going to help this ship? I think armor. At this range, belt armor. Just a lot of it. Can I really get away with 37 inches of armor? Well, near enough. Maybe 37 is a bit ludicrous. Just roll that back to 30-ish, and then extend the belt extended armor. <laughs> belt armor it is. <laughs> Keep in mind, armor quality 118%, and I just checked with the devs. I wanted to know once and for all, what does armor quality actually do? do? And it says, yes, um, the armor quality is basically a 118% modifier to the armor that you have. So it's not 30 inches of armor, it's 60 and change. Uh, increase armor to the conning tower. I don't think so, because the conning tower is only there to make sure I actually shoot targets accurately. But I'm five kilometers out. I wouldn't know how to miss at this range anyway. Let's see if I can make this thing a little more balanced. Fortunately, all the torpedoes happen to be in the way now. I have to wait. Still 7-1. The problem lies in that turret over there. Um, could I have that turret over here and rotate it around? Sort of. I just need to make sure that the aft superstructure goes back a little more. This is where the game starts complaining. Right. Not sure how effective that's going to be, but we'll just test it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 40 torpedoes per side. Uh, that should make fairly short work of these guys. I mean, there's very, very little that can, in fact, survive a 40 in, or a 40 torpedo salvo. The only thing that I would like is for these things to reload faster. Now, I know that the single torpedo loads reload... The leader reload very quickly in 120 seconds. These reload in 480 seconds, and that means they're all going to get reloaded at the same time. I'm going to have to mix things up a bit. Otherwise, I think it is just not going to work. I want to have some of them ready at all times. So I'm going to alternate. I want twos and threes. And this way I can make sure that I should, should always have a torpedo launcher ready. I might have a few torpedo launchers less. But I don't really care about that. Because a 40 torpedo salvo is nuts. You don't need that to sink a battleship. Sure, it'll help. You don't technically need it. And the change in reload is uh, 240 seconds versus 360 seconds. So there's a 120 second change or difference in reload time. And this should allow me to make sure that, yeah, I can always launch a torpedo or two. Anyways, thank you for subscribing. Right, how many torpedo launches do I have? I have 12 triples sp uh, spread out over both sides, of course. So that's 36 torpedo tubes, and that's another 24, making for a total of 60 torpedo tubes, a.k.a. 30 per side, uh, plus 8 underwaters. 3 port, 3 starboard, 1 bow, 1 stern. 
Now to add the funnel. And I think that should finish the ship off. Well, she's slightly too heavy now. I really wonder how much that belt armor is actually going to help me. Let's roll this back a bit more. Say uh, 22.5. And armor the turrets more. Because the last thing I would want on one of my ships is to have a flash fire. 22.5 on the turrets. Deck extended can get to 20. Conning tower. Fortunately, it doesn't weigh very much. 22.5. Uh, secondary is non-existent. Deck armor not relevant because the shells are going to be flying directly at it. Not penetrating on top of it. So deck armor is, well, ignorable. Round based. Thank you for the gifted subs. Very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, 21 inch. No, it's too much. 20.8. That should do it. With a slight four weight offset. It to will be an seven. Honor. Um, 0.7. Oh, we're getting somewhere. 0 0.4. 0 0.1. I like it. All right. This monstrosity is called the Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> we're still talking about the ship, by the way. <laughs> Webbles, thank you for the best boot. Thank you. All right. Let's get started. This is going to be nuts. I like it. I've had plenty of these very serious scenarios, so having something that starts at 5,000 meter range is very refreshing. Alright, Rahersha, bring it on. Halt. Oh dear. Look at that Russian formation. Oof. <laughs> oh no, what is that? 18 inch? It's gotta be bigger than the 16 inch turrets, these things. Also, 8 inch on a super firing tall turret. One on the deck. Another one over here. Interesting placement. I think they're all the same class. Because it just threw in 12 Russian battleships. Yeah, they all look very similar. Okay. So that's my ships. I'm probably going to have to detach all of them. To make sure that they don't all launch the Prius at the same target. My heavy cruisers. Oh no. They're 8 inch heavy cruisers. How do you expect to be useful? The only thing that could be useful on this ship is torpedo tubes. 20 inch torpedo tubes with a reload of 120. And um, depending on the damage mitigation that those Russians have, it's going to be very ineffective. So these are more of a nuisance group. All right, I'm going to try and wiggle. I'm going to try and have the port launcher from the illustrious engage one of these ships. And then we're going to turn around and fire the starboard torpedo launchers from the illustrious. So the port launchers, let's try for this ship. So you're going to turn port. Eagle's going to turn starboard. Queen Elizabeth's going to turn starboard. And we have one cruiser, the uh, Euralius. You're going to go under AI control just to figure out what you're going to do. Identification should be very, very quick. Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's the torpedoes. Good luck. All I can think about is Trinity with her dodge this. Oh, they're heading the other way. Oh, snap. I thought the Russians were going that way, but they're in fact going that way. Oh, this is glorious. The problem is that I have such a short range. If I had more range on the torpedoes, I might actually hit more. Uh, round based. If you submitted a scenario during the last stream, will this be accepted? Uh, just send it in again. That's going to make it easier for me to find it. 
Jesus, look at how quickly the Illustrious is ramping up hits. 1300 hits, 1400 hits, 1500 hits. Her damage is actually not too bad. 1600 hits, 1800 hits. <laughs> Jesus, they really want to get rid of that ship quick. Now, if these battleships could start turning, then I might be able to use the torpedo tubes. We do have some flooding on this guy over here. So that's helpful. Look at this. Good luck, dude. Good luck. This is seconds from disaster right here. Oh. Yup. You're toast. Hit by seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten torpedoes. 3260. What was it? 3226 damage? Good luck cancelling out that flooding. I'm not sure if there's any hole left to save. Now, the Queen Elizabeth. No, sorry, it's the Illustrious that's under fire, not the Queen Elizabeth. The QE is up front. The Illustrious is the one taking all the damage. Currently, she's had 3,500 shots fired at her. I was not interpreting this correctly. She's had 3,500 shots fired at her. 3,700 of which... No, sorry. Almost 4,000 shots. Almost 1,900 hits. Could you just kindly sink? What's your excuse for still floating? How are you doing that? Those battleships have 13 inch guns. Not mine. Mine have 15 inch guns. And they? Well, I'd like to tell you, but the game still hasn't identified them. How is this thing still alive? You got hit by 11 torpedoes. And... I don't get it. Oh, you think the Russians have... 13 inch guns. Oh no, I don't believe so. Um, well, no, you're right. 13 inch guns? They look a hell of a lot bigger than that. Oh, it's a dreadnought hull. That's why it looks different. I did give them the right tech, right? Yeah. They have generation 1 radar, so they have the right tech. 13 inch guns. Anti flood. One. Antitorp, one. How are you alive? Oh, now the AI starts giving the maximum bulkheads. <sighs> Illustrious. Currently ramping up the damage. She's been hit 2,000 times. Illustrious. Send out torpedoes against the Piotr Veliki, insofar as your torpedo tubes haven't been destroyed. See, there's nothing left of that torpedo armament. That's what I was expecting. Those things just die too quickly. And the eagle is now being subjected to a similar treatment. There's just no way to keep these things alive. Maybe if I picked a different nation other than UK, I might be able to make that better. Because those guys generally have bigger battleships. You thought it would be okay if the battleships had all 100,000 tons. Yeah. The problem is that the British don't have a hole for that. That's what I meant. The Russians have a hole for that, I think. The Americans, the Japanese. But not the Brits. So as much as I would like to, I cannot properly run that scenario. Give me a different hull type and I might be able to do it. Still, the amount of damage that this ship is racking up. Look at this. This is what a battle looks like. But, seriously, I still haven't done enough damage to sink the Chesma. I have done 15,316 damage. I've taken 3,274. Chesma refuses to sink. 
Just flat out refuses. Lustrious, with whatever torpedo she has left, port side. Sending out a wave against the Chesma. Again. Eagle, turn in. There's only one way we're landing these torpedoes, and that's by pushing in. Chesma has flooding. You'd think that the Chesma would already be flooded. But no. I still don't quite get how, with just Anti Torpedo 1, she's able to survive that much damage. It's Anti Torpedo 1 and Anti Flooding 1. So it's not like the ship has a massive capacity to pump out the water. It just immediately sealed the bulkheads. And it immediately sealed the damage that it took from that flooding. She's been shot at... Hold on, she's been shot at 2,900 times? By who? Because my ships don't have any secondaries. My cruisers... Well, they've been busy, but they sure as hell haven't fired 3,000 times. Still, the Chesma refuses to sink. <laughs> this is a showcase of Russian bias in UAD. Yeah. Somewhat. This is also quite astounding. We got the uh, Urialis... Sorry, the uh, Urialis here. And the Urialis is just... Operating at a range of 2,200 meters from the Gangut and the other battleships. She hasn't been shot at much. And it looks like everybody's just ignoring her. They just don't care. Now, my battleships have taken a bit of damage. I mean, they've been hit 1,400 times. The Illustrious has been hit 2,200 times. But the damage is actually still fairly manageable. It's not like they're already flooding and stuff like that. It's mostly fine. <laughs> Chesma just does not take any kind of damage at that angle. Does Illustria still have any torpedo left on the port side? Some. At least I should still have the underwater torpedo tubes. Oh. Hold on, what happened here? You got hit by a torpedo. Several times. Oh, we still have a couple of longer range traveling torps. Potentially the Illustrious is doing. Because the Urialis doesn't have the range for that, nor the amount of torpedo launchers. Destroyed a main gun on the Urialis. Oh, sorry, on the Chesma. Not the Urialis. Urialis is my cruiser. We still have any port torpedo tube. This one looks alright. I'm, I'm just not sure if it's reloaded. I think it might not be. Um, look at the Urialis. <laughs> Are you trying to board this ship? What's your plan? And this is under AI control, right? I haven't told the ship to go in this deep. That's the ship's decision. Fantastic. <laughs> Just like that. Alright, try and torp the uh, Veliki over here. Although I would be very surprised if this ship has any kind of functional torp left. Oh, she does! Some. Hopefully it's enough. You also just got hit by torpedoes, or what? No, you got hit by 15-inch shells. Alright. 
I still haven't sunk a single Russian battleship. And these aren't big boys either. They're 53,100 tons. It's not like they're amazingly large at 100,000 tons. They're they're all right. 53,000 tons. If the AI had really wanted to, they could have gone with a vastly bigger ship. Starboard torpedoes on the Gangut. We also got the Queen Elizabeth charging in now. Oh no! The QE also torpedoed the Pyotr. Okay. The Veliki seems to be controlling the flooding very, very well. Eagles on fire, yeah right. Not surprising after having been hit 2500 times. Most of the damage has come from 8 inch guns. That's surprising. 8 inch guns, huh? So it's the secondaries that are doing most of the damage. Is that the same here? Yes. 8 inch guns. 620 damage. 13 inch guns. 615. Although it's getting fairly even at this point. And still the Chesma's here. Chesma does not care. Could we kindly finish off the Chesma? Because then I at least have the feeling of achieving something. Starboard torpedoes against the gun goods. Although at this point at this rate. Those frames, yeah I know. There's a bit too much going on right now. Alright, she launched her torpedoes. Come back to starboard then. Is that heavy cruiser ramming the battleship? Well, maybe she tried. Yay! Chesma sunk. First actual Russian battleship lost. That took me long enough. Eagle. Come to starboard. And the other heavy cruisers are approaching. But they're also approaching my torpedoes. I'm going to let those KIs keep under AI control and see if the AI is actually smart enough to turn. Whoa, I... Yeah, I got hit by my own heavy cruiser with a torpedo. Fortunately, didn't do much. Only 73 damage. But it's a bit of a nuisance. Now, if I don't hit this one, I might still hit the uh, Rostelov, Rostislav. And the Urialis is still just amongst everybody. Not a care in the world. Torpedo away. One torpedo from the port launcher of the Urialis. Let's try the starboard launcher on the uh, Tsisadovich. But then again, maximum bulkheads. Oh, there's no notification of the stream on Discord? Okay. We did hit this thing pretty hard. Or did we? No. Yep, torpedoes have now arrived versus Gangut. And they are continuing on to the Rostislav, but I doubt they'll hit. So the Rostislav is making a port turn. Gone good. Lost three engines and a rudder. Fire and flooding. Seriously, the one time that I want the AI to actually have low amount of bulkheads, they go with high amount. What's that about? Oh, you're still here. Hmm. Can't have a battleship on my stern. Kudos to the British ships for just sticking it out this long. Arcango. Got hit by torpedoes. 
Are your poor torpedoes ready by any chance? Natal. Natal did get hit by my own torpedo. So that's an interesting test result. The AI is not very good under AI control, even if it's a friendly, to avoid torpedoes. I was hoping for something a bit different. I was hoping that since the AI was on my team, that they knew there was a torpedo in the water and that they would take action to evade. They didn't. Queen Elizabeth, having received 3,600 hits, 10,000 times she's been shot at. That's not a hyperbole, that's actually 10,270, 2,300 times at this point. We have a couple of torpedoes going out from here and a couple of torpedoes ramming into the Archangel Uriel. Flooding on the bow. Seemingly not too serious. Back to starboard if you can. The whole superstructure on this ship is just gone. <laughs> I think all my torpedo tubes are gone too. Oh, I see. This one seems active. And the rest is just burned off. That's what I was worried about. Is my heavy cruiser still alive? You're still partying with the Russians. What the hell? This guy's hanging out with them at 300 meter range. And they just don't give a shit. <laughs> She's done 580 damage. She scored 3,200 hits with an 88% hit efficiency. What the? Uralis, what are you doing? Can we launch the starboard torpedo tube into the uh, Perezvet? CQC engagement. I don't think that quite covers it. Still, I'm having a lot of Russians on low health, but they're not dead. Hold off on the torpedo launches for a moment. There's another one low health here, the uh, Petr Veliki. Eagle might be able to do a drive-by versus the Arkhangel. Did you just hit that one? Yep, mid-belt. Unfortunately, I'm rapidly running out of torpedoes on the Urialis. If they get closer, they start to breed. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Well, I'm not sure what's going to come out at the end. So they got one, two, three... Four, five, five full health battleships. It seemed, however, that my battleships had just stopped taking damage altogether. The only one that's really low health is the Eagle. Just do a drive by on the Archangel and maybe we can sink her. That is, if you have any torpedo tube left in the starboard. Yeah, this one. And the... Yep, the torpedo's away. And the lower torps. Those broadsiders. That should get rid of another uh, battleship. Gun goods down. Are you seriously murdering the Perez vet all by yourself? No. I think that the Queen Elizabeth is also seriously helping out with that. Boom. Flooding. Fire. More flooding. We might actually score a fairly decent amount of Russian kills here. Looks like the torpedoes just arrived on the Arkhangel. There she goes. Arkhangel is down.
Heavy cruiser group. I need you to try and target the Petter. Petter's vets down. Nice work. So far, I haven't lost a single ship. And I've sunk, what, three Russians? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Russians. Right. Remember, no Russian. Could these British ships actually win this? How did the CA survive there? I don't know. It looks like the Urialis just went undercover or something. She did get hit. She did get shot at. But it's like the German... No, the Russians just don't consider her any kind of threat. She's done 865 damage, so... Relatively, she's done a lot less damage than the Queen Elizabeth at 6 point... Or, sorry, 8.3 thousand. But still, it's not like you can just safely ignore this heavy cruiser, because she's been throwing out torpedoes left and right. Literally left and right, and she's hit quite a few. I'm just not sure why she stopped firing now. Lustrious. Lustrious might land a torpedo here. I'm just not quite seeing it. No. We still got this guy here as well. The Petr. Petr needs to go. That cruiser should be capable of doing that. I think that armor <laughs> actually saves the uh, British at the moment. I'm hoping I can sink the uh, three... What's that? Sphia Titelia. Yeah, more flooding. I don't think the flooding is going to kill her, though. I think it's more the superstructure damage. But if these Russians had 18-inch guns, I'd be dead. Very, very dead, in fact. Eagle is still trying to assist... 27% chance to pen that. Just try to assist versus the uh, Petr. What are your turrets aimed at? Oh, they are aimed at the Petr. Okay. Good. Illustrious has sent out another single torpedo by the looks of it. That must be the bow launcher. There's six torpedoes just got destroyed. <laughs> there goes the uh, three. Anybody else low health? No, no, no. Maybe, no, no. Right. Queen Elizabeth, do you still have torpedoes? On the deck, I mean. Not on your port flank. Starboard flank isn't looking too hot either. So probably not. So I'm just going to have to rely on these purely port mounted torpedoes. Urialis is still working away against the Petr. <laughs> the luck on that heavy cruiser. Nothing against the battleship. Chance to pen? 35%. Oh. We need the QE to come in a little closer then. 
Look at this, the Kent. The Kent hasn't been shot at once. Throughout all that, the Kent hasn't been shot at. Well, that's refreshing. Uh, Kent, I need you to disengage from the division. Just charge in. The Natal, maybe not so much. And the... Uh, Immortalite, I think that's pronounced. Come to port. Try to torpedo the Petter. Alright, we now have torpedoes from the port launchers underwater on the, on the uh, Queen Elizabeth. I'm hoping that that's going to open up the defenses on the Voronezh a bit more so that I can actually get rid of her using the main guns. Ammo detonation. That's helpful. These things reload very quickly. That's two minutes and you can immediately launch them again. Fire. More fire. Yeah, she's not doing so hot anymore. Hard to port. Maybe we can get the starboard launchers away on the Rostislav. Flash fire! Yes! Launch the turrets. You're not using them anyway. Can we also get the C turret? Or the, the X turret? No. Finally, the Petra goes down. Means I can bring this heavy cruiser in again. You immortal light. Lustrious. Um, come to starboard. Let's see if I can hit the Tsasarevich with the port launchers. Underwater launchers, that is. Torpedoes away. It's mostly there to soften her up a bit, because I'm not expecting any instant death. Queen Elizabeth. Voronezh is taking serious damage, but not enough. Target the Rostislav with the bow torpedo tube, if you can. I know it's just one torpedo, but every bit helps at this point. I'm not even sure if this thing is still alive. Yeah, it should be. Keep turning. Have you stopped? Well, not quite, but she's not particularly quick anymore. Torpedo hits. And three more. <laughs> the Queen Elizabeth strikes again. Port launchers on the Voronezh, because they're ready. They just might not have the angle. Illustrious. Living up to her name. She's torpedo to Tsasarevich. Yeah, she did. Lustrious, come to port. Rostislav is no longer as quick as she once was. What? Is that? What? Oh. That's something coming off the ship. I thought it was a torpedo of some sort. Serious damage to the Rostislav, but it's not quite damaging. I mean, you can see parts flying off the ship, but that's it. Uh, port launchers versus the Imperator. No damage. Target the Blagoya Nakalo. It's a of each torpedo. The eagle? The eagle's still catching up. She did send out her torpedoes. I'm just not quite sure who she's targeting. I think it's the Imperator. Let's try and target the Voronezh. Lizzie, you ready to torpedo again? You should be. Just the poor torpedoes, girl. Just the poor torpedoes. Come on. They should be ready. Yep. Here they are. One, two, three. Good. Starboard torpedoes. What is this love? She's probably still reloading those. Why 
Why is the can so slow? Five knots? Get in there. So Sadovic has been torpedoed again. Uh, the Imperator got torpedoed. <laughs> Impressive. Starboard torpedoes against Sadovic. Because supposedly both port and starboard are ready. I just need to make sure I can get those away. Come on. You know, the angle's very small. One, two... Maybe they broke one of the underwater ones. Two torpedoes out only. Every bit helps. Still trying to do damage against the Blagoye. I don't think that's happening. There we go. Starboard torpedoes yet? No, still reloading. I think a lot of these ships are damage saturated. The battleships are simply no longer taking any serious damage. It's all one point of damage, three points of damage. Over time it adds up. The ship has taken 3.8k damage, but she's dished out 15. 12,000 of which was by torpedoes. So Sotovich is still flooding. Yeah. I think she's going to survive. Because it's not her first flooding. That BB might ram, yeah. This one. Poor torpedoes, away. Starboard torpedoes, potentially still reloading, or they have just hit. Bingo. Three, two torpedo hits. Lizzie, hard starboard. Lustrious. Lustrious might be ready to torpedo the Tsotovich one more time. Yeah, see, all that flooding is now under control. I just don't know how capable they are at getting rid of the water. Come on. I might still be reloading. Sisodovic is going down. Could I put her down once and for all? She does have two more torpedoes coming in. Hard starboard. Eagle. Engage at Sisodovic if you aren't already. Because you're now at a pretty decent angle. If I can exploit that, I can go right through that ship. There we go. 255 more. She's flooding again. Lizzie has launched torpedo. Oh, look at that. I think one of those torpedoes might accidentally hit the Blagoye. Two hit the Rostislav. Yep, and one hit the Blagoye. Well done. What am I watching? There goes the Tsetsarevic. Excellent. Next target. Voronish. Oh, sorry. Uh, Voronish. It's like this ship is stuck. Are you stuck on a sandbank somewhere? Look at that, she's trying to... She's trying to evade something. And she's trying to speed up, but seemingly she doesn't know how. And our Urialis is still here. I still haven't lost a single ship. 
Come on, let's get rid of Volanesh. That's another couple of guns down. And then the Rostislav after that. Serious damage is now being inflicted by two battleships firing at the Voronezh. Our whole aft compartment's burning. Everything on the stern has been destroyed. Turrets, secondary towers, secondary turrets. The flooding might kill her. She's down to 1%, 2%. 1% again. Get rid of her. 0. 0.5 0. 0.4 Oh, come on. Just put the final nail in the coffin. Just make it a 15-inch nail. Flooding. Rostislav sinks. Hold on. I wasn't expecting the Rostislav to go down first. Not that I mind. Now the heavy cruisers might be able to pick apart the Alexander. Although the Immortality or the Immortalite only has one torpedo left. Which is never going to be enough. The ship's been hit 2300 times. Whoa. The Lizzie has been hit 7,000 times out of 14,000 shots fired at her. And uh, the Eagle hit 6,000 times. Illustrious hit 8,000 times. Overall, I've been hit 21,833 times. I have shot 11... No, 18,476 shells. I think almost all of those are from the secondaries. Because the torpedoes are simply not really doing that much. So most of the damage has come from the torpedoes. Look at that. 45,000 damage total. 29,000 of that is torpedo damage. Eagle. Um, yeah, try to launch the torpedoes. I'm just thinking you might run into the Illustrious while you're doing it. Maybe this one then. Blagoye. Just turn back. Maybe we can torpedo the Blagoye. Where's the Kent? Oh, she's moving. Good. She still has her torpedoes. They only carry five, so it's not a lot. But it might just help. Putting down the Alexander. How many shells have been fired? By me? Uh, 19,000. By them? 44,000. And it's starting to show. Because these guys are starting to run out of ammo. They only have one 8-inch shell left. On the... Uh What's that? The Olsiabaya. Olsiabia. She's out of 8-inch ammo for her duels. She still has casemate guns. And she still has a bunch of 13-inch shells. Turn. And we did land torpedoes on the Blagoye. Are there seriously only three Russian battleships left? I think there just might be. Immortalite has launched the last torpedo and not sure she landed it. Maybe she did at 40.52. We still got the Kent back here and the Natal. Natal is also doing her loops, but I don't really see a reason for that. Is she still... <laughs> It looks like she's still trying to follow the Immortalite. I don't get why she's not actually... See, now she's starting to listen to her rudder. Weird stuff going on in this match. Queen Elizabeth, starboard torpedoes, target, Blagoye. Actually, no, hold off on that. 
If oh oh, if I don't hit those, I'm gonna hit my own ships. Maintain course. Port torpedo, no, starboard torpedo launch from the Eagle against the already severely wounded Blagoye might just be enough. We're definitely cross torping her now. But I don't like the trajectory of this torpedo. I really hope that the Blagoye is going to stop that. But I don't think so. I'm going to have to have one turn to port, one turn to starboard. Although, she might get it. Hit. Yep, she took it. We're fine. Blagoye is dead. That just leaves two Russian battleships alive. Kent. Eight kilometer range. Incredible. I thought this scenario would be done in about five to ten minutes. But we're still here. And kicking after all this time. And in fact, we're down to the last two Russian battleships. What a meme scenario. Yes, indeed. Very much. I'm not sure if this is what uh, Random Fishy had in mind when he sent in the scenario. But I'm astounded by the performance on these Brits. And credit where credit is due, by the Urialis. Because how this ship was able to blend in with the Russian fleet and survive for this long, I just don't get. They were so busy trying to take out the battleships that they just completely ignored the heavy cruiser that was operating at 500 meter range. And despite everything, I still have ammo on my ships. I still have torpedoes. Well, loads and loads and loads of torpedoes. And I still have main ammo shells. Really seriously mauling the Alexander currently. Perfect angle to torpedo her as well. Just need to get a little closer. Eagle. Oh, the Eagle has taken some serious damage here. She's been hit 7,000 times. What does a ship look like that's been hit 7,000 times? Well, like that, apparently. Oh, this is a free spinning turret. I thought I only made it so that it could turn 270, so that it had to turn the whole way around. But it's a, a 360, it's a free spinning. It can go all the way. That's more helpful. Don't torpedo, because now the risk of torpedoing my own ships is becoming too great. Take them apart. Show the Russians that it is indeed the British fleet who rules the waves. Not the Russians. Something I still don't quite get about the game is that you can see that some part has been destroyed. Like the main tower on the Queen Elizabeth has been destroyed. But they just keep putting up messages that that particular element of the ship has been destroyed. I mean, is it destroyed or is it not destroyed? Because it cannot be both. And the same goes for the torpedoes. Ammo detonation, she's down to 4%. 3%. The flooding is actually under control. She only ha Oh, there she goes. Two sectors now. Carefully point those guns, uh, Urialis. Look at all that fire. Is there anything still left to burn on that ship? Because arguably there is just... It's a husk. It 
She lost her A turret, her B turret, only her stern turrets are operational. But with limited effectiveness. Secondary... No, sorry, she's out of ammo. The secondaries... She has 8-inch casemates. She has 7-inch secondaries. And a bunch of 3-inch casemates and 2-inch, which are all starting to run out of ammo. Well, it doesn't matter, because soon there won't be a gun to fire with either. So you won't need the ammo anyway. 2%. Lizzie, whenever you're ready, send out the torpedoes. 2% flooding. Eight percent buoyancy. Five, four, three, two, one, dead. What the hell did I just witness? What the hell? I just took down 12 Russian battleships with three British battleships and four heavy cruisers, and I didn't lose a single ship. Hmm. I'd say that's a pretty unexpected outcome. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> Cheers to the British. Britannia rolled the waves. <laughs> I like it.